Today we are going to create a pattern swatch with a plate pattern like this one. And to do this, first we need to activate the grid. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again, and click snap to grid. Then before we can create the pattern, we need to go to the transform panel, click this drop down right here, and make sure align new objects to pixel grid is turned off. If this is turned on, the snap to grid feature won't work correctly. So now we can begin creating our pattern. For this, zoom into the canvas and make sure that you're able to see three by three squares. Then pick the rectangle tool, hold down the shift key and from one of these crosshairs right here, draw a square that is three by three squares. And you can unselect the fill. Then pick the line tool, create a line that goes from right here through this corner, through this corner and ends right here. So you have a line that goes through these two corners. Then pick the selection tool and while having this line selected, hold down the Alt key to duplicate and move the copy two small squares to the right. Now we need to repeat this step until the entire square is filled out with lines. And to repeat the last step you just did, click Ctrl D until you have lines all the way to the left. Make sure to include the line right on the corner right here. Now copy this line again, hold down the Alt key to duplicate and make another duplication that is moved to the right this time. And once again, click Ctrl D to repeat this step. Make sure there's a line going right through the corner right here. Then select all the lines, make the strokes wider. And if you would like fewer but wider lines, you can simply make more space between these lines if you want. But for this example, we will just make two small squares of space between the lines. So when you are happy with the width of your stripes, I will choose three points for mine. Simply go to Object, go to Expand, make sure Fill and Stroke is selected and click OK. Now the stripes are no longer strokes, but now they are shapes instead. This means that we can now select all the stripes plus the square we made first and then we can select the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get a minus sign next to the cursor and delete all the lines that bleeds over the edge of the square. Then pick the selection tool and select the outer square right here and simply delete this one, leaving behind only the stripes. Now select all the stripes, right click the stripes and select group. Then you can give the stripes a color that you like. You can choose whatever color that you like, but these plate patterns often consist of only two colors, a dark color and a lighter version of the same color. So for this example, my stripes is a dark petrol color. And if I click on the fill right here, and I just move this pop up a little bit, you can see that the light colors I use is simply found by selecting a color that is higher up in the color wheel. This way, I'm sure that the hue is matching. So let's remove this pop up. Now with these stripes selected, hold down the Alt key to duplicate them and drag a duplication down right here. Then pick the rectangle tool and create a rectangle from right here to right here. And we're going to give this square the light color. Now pick the selection tool and while having this square selected, right click it, go to arrange and send to back. This way we can make duplications of this square and put the duplications behind the stripes. So hold down the Alt key and put the copy behind the stripes. Put another copy behind these stripes right here. For the last section over here, simply make a new copy, place it over here and give this square the dark color. Now select all the squares and stripes, right click and select group. Then simply drag this group all the way to the swatches panel. And here we have the swatch we just made. Then zoom out on the canvas, move these to the side, create a new rectangle. And here we can test out our new pattern swatch. If you have some suggestions for other patterns you would like me to make, please type it in the comment section below. I read every single comment. Thank you for watching.